potentially unprecedented scenario is unfolding in the North Atlantic on Friday, as a bomb cyclone batters Iceland with hurricane force winds and blizzard conditions, just as another bomb cyclone, known as Storm Dennis, rapidly intensifies behind it. Ultimately, the two storms will enter into a complex dance around each other, before combining into one atmospheric behemoth. With a minimum central air pressure that could rank among the top three most intense storms ever observed in the stormy North Atlantic Basin. Storm Dennis, as it was officially named earlier last week, exploded into a bomb cyclone on Thursday, after its central pressure plummeted 1.38 inches of mercury, 46 millibars, in 24 hours. The drop was recorded from 29.4 to 28.1 inches of mercury, 996 millibars to 950 millibars. One week after Storm Sierra lashed the United Kingdom with heavy rain and extreme wind gusts, another storm is knocking at the door. Storm Dennis is likely to bring very heavy rain, flooding and disruption, in some areas, the Met Office has said. In general, Dennis's wind impacts are not expected to be as extreme as Storm Sierra, but widespread strong winds and heavy rain are still expected in the United Kingdom and other parts of Europe. According to the UK Met Office, the most substantial part of the storm will move to the north of Ireland on Saturday, then on to the UK on Sunday. Though the center of Dennis will not get as close to the UK as Storm Sierra did last week. Which means the winds likely won't be as intense. This storm battering Iceland underwent the process of bombogenesis or rapid intensification, with its air pressure plummeting more than 24 millibars in 24 hours. Over the course of 48 hours, its pressure dropped by 67 millibars, as it moved from near Nova Scotia early Thursday morning, to near Iceland early Friday morning. So we have some very unsettled weather returning this weekend. Storm Dennis, you can see such a squeeze on the isobars and some very heavy rain moving through. So I think Saturday we'll start to see those winds really getting going. Gale force winds, heavy rain. There is the risk of potential flooding, particularly where we've already seen some uh, heavy rainfall totals will only be topped up this weekend. Sunday looks to stay very windy, still wet, but I think there will be a bit more in the way of drier weather. We do have warnings, uh, yellow warning for rain and for wind. More details can be found on those on the BBC Weather website.